Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 6th of uh, June and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video uh, for the next four weeks. So that gets us into the second half of June. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say about the first the video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. And we've also released the uh, third and final summer 2023 season of Roundup, getting 15 long-range models together from the World Leading Forecast Centre to see what they're all showing for summer 2023 for the third and final time this season. So check out those two if you would uh, like to do that. No weekend forecast uh, today. I've got to get the 10, 14 day done. And then crack on uh, prepping for the charity live stream. It'll be live streaming at 6 p.m. tonight. I've been plugging it all week. Going to have an epic, epic live stream um, where we will be raising money for Rainbow's Hospice. And this is the uh, website for Rainbow's uh, just here. So they provide vital care for children and also young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions in the East Midlands region. They do amazing, amazing, amazing work. And, um, you know, we've been raising money all week for uh, Rainbows on our Just Giving page, actually. So we're up to £845 now for Rainbows. An unbelievable amount of money. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of the kindness and generosity. That is incredible, uh, Sam. And we haven't done a live stream <laughs> yet, but thank you so much, everyone. I know Rainbows are uh, very, very appreciative, as am I. So um, what we're doing here with Gareth Lowe's community raising this money for such a wonderful cause is, is, is tremendous. And I thank you all so very, very much. Today is the one-year anniversary of when I lost my mum, Mrs P. So uh, she passed away one year ago today on the 27th of May, 2022. And we're doing this uh, charity live stream and this charity event in her memory um, try and, you know, make something positive out of the day. So, um, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the kindness and generosity. And, yeah, I shall see you a little bit later. I'm going to have guests coming on with us. We'll be, I'll be chatting with, uh, Jeffers and also, uh, with, uh, with Mark Bogan. And I'll be chatting, uh, as well with Steffi Adcock, Steph, and also, uh, Ben. And you'll be able to hear from Richard as well, Richard Short, the recording for us as well as uh, Brian Gage from Weather Outlook 2. So it's going to be absolutely epic and uh, I can't wait to see you all a little bit later on at 6pm. But before we get to that, I've got today 10 to 14 day up to do. So let me crack on with that. Centering temperature has not updated, but it got to a point where I'm going to get on with video. So we will bring you up to date with that tomorrow. Up to yesterday it was at 12.4, which was 1.3 degrees above average. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Milton Keynes. Look at Milton Keynes today. You can see about the next week to 10 days, it'll be solidly above average, quite a warm spell coming up. It does look as though we might get a cool down though as we go later on through the first week and into the second week of June. We see the upper air temperature then returning back closer to average and you'll see that some of the ensemble members are actually going below average including the uh, GFS midnight operation run the thick green line goes under the long term 30 year average when we get to the end of the first week and into the second week of June precipitation wise we see lots of dry weather over the uh, next week or so next week to 10 days Things might start getting a little bit more unsettled then by the end of the first week into the second week of June during this cool down period. But again, remember that is a long way off. It's in range of reliable, therefore, pretty good agreement on the cool down, I have to say. But, you know, we're still way off with that, so there is uncertainty about it, but pretty good agreement on the cool down. But as far as, like, Tony Morris Sessions is concerned, I think, you know, that is too far away to have any sort of uh, confidence in it. Temperature anomaly is from the 27th of May to the 4th of June, coming out around to a little bit below average for England and Wales, around to a little bit above average for Scotland and Ireland. And precipitation anomalies 
from the 27th of April to June, significantly drier than normal. The latest winter map from EarthNoSchool.net shows that the high pressure is still in the ascendancy today, although some cooler pressure are beginning to move in from uh, the north into the northern half of the country. And um, the trend for the second half of Bank Holiday Weekend will be for things to turn a little bit cooler, but still very, very pleasant. Right, go through chart data there. This double a UK met Euro Road. It's looking to be dark on Tuesday. High pressure right over top of the country. We are high and dry, anti cyclonic all the way. High pressure continuing into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, and on into next weekend as well. We do see that the uh, winds begin to pick up a little bit from the east and from the northeast uh, later on into the end of week next weekend, bringing some slightly cooler air back in. From the east, but overall, weather set there warm, dry, and fine uh, through next week. Icon again on Tuesday with that high pressure 1030 millibars slap bang over the top of the country, bringing lots of dry weather. With that high pressure stays in control of weather throughout the middle and second half of next week. Very, very gradually over time, that high pressure inches its way up towards Greenland and uh, Iceland. So, but by the time we get through to midday Saturday with ICON, we see that uh, high pressure in the North Atlantic heading up towards Greenland, but still staying in a ridge down through the western side of Europe. So still bringing a lot of dry and warm weather. But cooler air is digging into Scandinavia by that point. Will we pull that cooler air in from the north from the northeast? We will have to go on another day or two to find out. Now this is the GFS midnight run that we know does become quite cool. So let's see how that happens. Starting off on Tuesday again, high pressure right over the top of the country, bringing lots of dry fine weather. That high pressure through the latter part of next week gradually moving its way up towards Greenland, ice and cooler air starting to dig in across Scandinavia and northern parts of Europe and eventually by the time we get through North Day 9 and 10 we do actually start pulling in that cooler air from the uh, northeast as the high pressure becomes a blocking feature around Greenland and Iceland in comes those cooler uh, northeasterly winds. That gets us to day 10, which is Tuesday 6th of June. Beyond that, we find that the high pressure gets blocking away to the northwest. We've got low pressure down to the south-southwest, um, and uh, winds are coming in from a relatively cool easterly type direction at that point. At the very end of the GFS midnight run, as you start to turn and settled as well with showery rain along with those cooler temperatures. So a very gradual change there from around day nine onwards to something initially cooler and drier. I mean cooler and a little bit more unsettled. But GFS 6 said once more with high press slap bank over top of country on Tuesday. And then into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday about high pressure grudging its way up towards Greenland and ice are becoming a blocking feature. Heading up toward day 10, some cooler air starting to come in from the north and from the northeast into the northern half of the country, and that high pressure sticks around the country then up to the uh, round day 10, sending the ridge in uh, from off the Atlantic. Beyond that, we find the high pressure again, just ridging through the country, with lots of dry, fine weather, until this low begins to get going around the 10th of June. That has a bit of a thundery look to it. Um, finishing up like that, possibly bringing up some warmth from the south and from the southeast then. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. More importantly, don't forget to tell your friends about Rainbow's Hospice, providing vital care for children and young people in the East Midlands region with life-limiting and terminal conditions. You can give a donation to Rainbow's through our Just Giving page, and you will be able to donate with the live chat where we are live-streaming this evening. We thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Right, GM, again, about high pressure over the top of the country through uh, the middle part of the week, main dry, fine and warm, heading into next weekend. Again, the high pressure is in the ascendancy, keeping things mostly fine and settled up to day 10. The high pressure just inching a little bit further north towards Greenland, Iceland by Tuesday 6th of June, possibly hinting at a few showery bursts and some slightly cooler air coming in from the east. And then finally, the ECM has that high pressure over country on Tuesday, 1,030 millibars, it's a large area of high pressure. That high gradually inches its way to the north and the west, so that by day 10, we're just hinting at starting to bring down something a little bit fresher and more showery from uh, the north there, perhaps. 
Mississippi Precipitation Forecast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. Again, we see lots and lots of dry weather on the way. Barely any measurable rain to speak of in the next 10 days. Just getting a little bit more showering by around day 10 in the north. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the uh, 6th of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with high pressure inching out to west and to the northwest. And some slightly cooler air is coming in around that high pressure from a northerly or an easterly type direction. Could be a few showers up in the north. I mean, to be time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 11th of June, 23 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid-Atlantic ridge. Low pressure is up towards Scandinavia and around France. So winds come in from like more of a northerly direction. That could be a little bit uh, cool and showery. 17 with high pressure around Greenland, low pressure to our south southwest that looks quite unsettled and another 11 actually with low pressure right through the country along with the mid-atlantic ridge going up to greenland and again that looks uh, really quite cool and unsettled with that too CFSB2, uh, finally, these are 500 millibar height and line breaking down into weak periods. The first week period will take us from the 27th of May to the 2nd of June, becoming week dominated by high pressure over the top of the country, mostly dry and fine weather to come. Week 2 is going to be the uh, third through to the 9th of June. Again, the high pressures in the North Atlantic um, are reaching into Western Europe as well. Lots of dry weather with that. Week 3. It's going to be the 10th and 16th of June. High pressure in the North Atlantic towards Greenland. Low pressure uh, Scandinavia. That looks cooler uh, with winds in from more of a northerly direction. And then finally, week four is going to be the 17th to 23rd of June. High pressure slipping back into the northeast of uh, Europe. So still extending some sort of a ridge towards the north of Scotland. A lower pressure in the Atlantic and in the Med. Um, a little, bit of, little bit of a messy pattern, but that could be starting to try to turn a little bit more unsettled, actually, I think, from off the Atlantic. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. If you show share by giving that, drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Worthy. So we thank you so much, everyone, um, for doing that. Don't forget to tell your friends and family about Rainbow's Hospice and the amazing work they do providing vital care for children and young people with life limiting and terminal conditions. And to also make sure you check out the Just Giving page. And if you can afford to do so, please give a donation to Rainbows in memory of my mum, Mrs P, who we lost this day last year. And I thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And this will be the final time that I plug Rainbows in uh, the videos. We've just got charity live stream to do tonight, and then that will bring to an end our, our charity event that we've been running throughout this uh, week. So, um, thank you so much, everybody, you know, for, for the donations and the support and the love over this past week while we've been doing this charity event. Of course, I'll talk much more about this tonight on the live stream, but thank you so much, uh, everybody. Right, I just said coming up tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK... No, we're not going to have a 6 a.m. Sorry, no 6 a.m. Uh, UK weather forecast tomorrow because I'm live streaming for three hours tonight. I'm going to then take the rest of the night off. So, uh, I won't be recording the 6 a.m. forecast after I've live streamed for three hours. So, actually, no 6 a.m. forecast. I'll be back on Monday. We will, however, have the uh, summer 2023 forecast. The Gas Webby summer 23 forecast will be released at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then there'll be a video later on in the afternoon of 10 to 14 day. And then on Bank Holiday Monday, there will be a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And the history. The historic video uh, on Monday is going to be looking at summer 2022, last summer, when we reached 40 degrees. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday afternoon. Hopefully, I'll see you a little bit later on for the charity live stream. Um, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.